vehicles that just now we our friends have said they see on the road while they went to supermarket okay these vehicles that runs on the road we call it as land transport okay land transport the vehicles that runs on the road okay that is land transport so what comes under land transport jeep okay jeep jeep scooter 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 bus have you seen a bus on the road yes bus bus car okay car car bicycle have, do you know how to ride a bicycle yes bicycle some of your friends comes on a bicycle right bicycle again we have on land transport one more things that runs on the tracks do you know that also runs on the track it's a land transport that is the train okay if you want to go to long distance places far away places we go in this what is that do you know train or a bus if you want to go to a grandparents house if they live in a village we go by bus or by train okay so for traveling short distances we go for the vehicles such as scooter car bicycle and jeep if we want to go for a long distance we'll go take either bus or train okay train runs on the track it is also a land transport train is also a land transport it runs on the track bus is not a land it's a land transport but it doesn't goes on the track it goes on the road okay though it covers a long distance it goes on the road not like a train okay so do you know children have you observed this picture what is common in that yes they have wheels isn't it they have wheels do you know what is wheel wheel is a tire without tire no vehicle will run okay remember that without tire no vehicles will run so tire what is there in the tire air we fill the tire with air okay so that goes round and round when the vehicles move okay so we know that bicycle bicycle as as having two wheels that is nothing but the tire two wheels that is run by us only that needs no petrol or diesel we run by our manpower isn't it see this is a picture of the road can you see can you point out the cars and the tractors and concrete uh, lorries going on jeep is there okay so many vehicles is running on the road can you see yes so all vehicles that runs on the road are called land transport remember children so car has four wheels car has four wheels that doesn't run by its own that doesn't run by its own that doesn't require any manpower it needs as a foot petrol it runs with a motor it runs with a motor okay so we have to fill it has a tank we have to fill it with a petrol or diesel okay nowadays nowadays what's happening is cylinders also they are using gas okay with the gas also they are running the vehicles few vehicles are running with a gas okay generally what will fill in a car to run petrol or diesel it has a motor okay and a car has four wheels how many wheels four wheels okay when you take about the jeep that is also having four wheels when you talk about a bus okay when you take a bus bus has six wheels do you know six wheels front two and back four with six wheels why it has six wheels it is also run, running on the road but 
it carries many passengers in it okay it carries many passengers so that it has to bear the load it has six wheels for a bus have you seen an auto yes must few of our friends comes in an auto right what is auto how many wheels are there for an auto three wheels okay front part front one and back two to have a balance okay um, auto also is having a motor in it we have to fill either petrol or a diesel okay the driver will be driving the auto beta the driver will drive the auto okay auto driver auto driver will drive a auto and uh, the passengers will sit on the back seat okay he runs the auto driver runs the auto in car either we can use or we can uh, take the help of a driver right and another means of transport what we have seen train okay we are talking about the train that runs on the track if we want to get into a train what we need to do can you just tell me where we need to go simply we can't stop the train on the as it runs on the track we need to go to a railway station if we want to catch a train where we need to go railway station okay train will be very long beta and it has many wheels okay it has many bogies okay and that is all the bogies is carried to a engine that engines pull all the bogies on the track it can be a passenger train or a goods train okay so it's a steam it train will be there electric train will be there and the motor train okay the train runs on the track what we have to remember train runs on the track trains has many wheels train is very long it carries many passengers that we have to remember about a train train we use when to use a train when we want to go for a long distances we go for a train okay so let's talk what are the other means of transport do you know do you have any idea yes we have talked about the road transport that vehicles that runs on the road transport are auto cycle car jeep all these things and if you want to go on a long distance we'll go for a train children i want to show you a picture can you just guess me what are the things they are you finding in this wow so many things have you find it on the road do you see any time on the road like running this vehicles no where you will find them yes they run on the water okay some runs from inside the water some goes on the water boat boat is there isn't it boat row boat just we will row the boat and we'll go okay and ship is there ship carries many passengers okay and motor boats are there that runs with a help of a motor can you find any wheels to these vehicles no wheels at all isn't it and can you have you seen the yacht yacht over there yes yacht is also there okay and there, can you just find out the submarine yes this is submarine that goes inside the water beta it runs inside the water and knows what is there inside the water deep inside the water these are all the water vehicles mean water transport okay we can travel in these vehicles also okay this transport is the cheapest means of transport if you want to go in a ship it takes time okay but it is cheap is means of transport it won't cost much for you okay just for a trip we can go in a boat or a motor boat submarine submarine is a vehicle that goes from inside the water okay we won't see up on the water such as boat we can see motor boats we can see yacht we can see ship we can see that is sailing on the water that are 
sailing on the water but we can't see the submarine okay what we have seen in the water transport what are the vehicles that runs on the water transport you must be able to tell that boat 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 ship ship okay motor boat motor boat next is yacht what we call to this yacht this is also a type of ship only ship and last is submarine submarine okay all these vehicles we use to travel on water these are called water vehicles that runs on the water is a nothing but water transport okay we can use these vehicles also to travel short distances as well as long distances next what else you will see when you see up in the sky what you will find do you find any vehicle over there yes which vehicle you have seen it's a plane wow you have seen a plane very good so i want to show you a picture just watch it this picture what are the things that you are able to find in this yes what is there it's a jet plane yes what is this we call it as glider glider <coughs> next what you are finding is an helicopter helicopter and next is this is most commonly we see what is that aeroplane okay airplane airplane and next can you see what is bulging it's a balloon no it's not a balloon it's a parachute what is that parachute okay for short distances we can for enjoyment sake we can use this parachute okay have you seen above all what is that spaceship have you heard the name spaceship yes if you want to go into the space in the deep in the sky we use this as a spaceship okay <clears throat> so have you seen the wheels for this yes for glider there are wheels for aeroplanes we have wheels okay but for helicopter we we won't find any wheels have you heard the sound of an helicopter any time yes what was the sound dug 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 sound you would be hearing right so it lands on the water and it like there from there only it will take off okay beta and when you have you seen the aeroplane if you want to go and to in, in an aeroplane which where we have to go it won't come on the road right you won't see it in water where you will have to go if you want to go in an aeroplane <clears throat> yes we need to go to the airport okay we need to go to the airport if you want to sit in an aeroplane and travel long distances okay from one country to other country from one place to another place we can you make use of the aeroplanes okay is the costliest means of transport better okay anybody can sit but it's little bit costly not like water transport okay it the, can you see this wheels to that when it lands it when it takes landing at that time it take out it wheels when it take fly off at that time also when it is taking off to the towards the sky it takes out its wheels inside okay where if you want to catch an aeroplane we have to go to the airport okay it lands on the and it takes off okay at the time it needs wheels right children so have you heard any time can you know i need rhyme on this aeroplane okay i will help you okay let's learn a rhyme on aeroplane 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 up in the sky aeroplane aeroplane up in the sky please take me with you please take me with you wherever you fly wherever you fly aeroplane aeroplane up in the sky aeroplane aeroplane up in the sky okay is it not nice 
simple words you can in sentence you can speak about an aeroplane see we have seen if you want to catch an aeroplane we need to go to the airport right if you want to catch to the train where we need to go we need to go to a railway station from there we can sit on a train okay where we need to go if you want to catch a train we need to go to railway station okay see this is the picture of a railway station the passengers are waiting at the station whenever the train comes they sit on the train okay so have you heard the sound of aeroplane a train how it will be it will be soft or the loud it will be very loud okay whenever it's reaching the station it makes the sound what is the sound it makes with this we can understand the train is coming near to the station okay the passengers get ready the train is coming okay can you just make out the sound of a train it will make a loud sound okay makes a waves to the passengers that i'm coming near to you so this is when train has many wheels you should not forget this okay train runs on the track and if you want to catch a train we have to go to the railway station okay we have to purchase the ticket at there and we have to or otherwise we can go for the reservation also our seats will be booked okay this is what about land transport water transport and air transport okay okay that bus station have you seen the bus station okay if you want to catch a ship let it if you want to catch a ship where we need to go to the port okay you find many ships over there we need to go to the port if you want to have a ride on a ship where we need to go port port okay if you want port right we, if you want to sit in a ship if you want to travel in a ship we need to go to the port so that we can sit in a chair and enjoy the ride on the water right children and once i want to show where we can catch a bus we can catch a bus at the bus stop bus station will be there beta okay and district buses will be going on city buses will be going on from this place okay this is the station bus stop okay bus station if you want to catch a bus we won't can we can't stop it on the road wherever we want we need to go to the bus stop where we need to go if you want to catch a bus bus stop okay bus stop then you can get a bus and you can travel in the bus you can enjoy the trip over there okay so we have seen land transport water transport air transport okay these are the three main source uh, modes of transport okay what are the three modes of transport land transport air transport and water transport okay now for this we can't run wherever we want we have to follow certain rules isn't it so do you know what is this have you seen this picture any time anywhere yes this is about a traffic light what we call to this traffic lights it controls the traffic beta okay it controls the traffic it controls the traffic and we call it as traffic signals so can you see the colors what are the colors are there in that red yellow green okay red yellow green so they, it has some meaning hidden in that do you know what is the meaning of red red light red light means you have to stop okay red light means you have to stop your vehicle there and yellow light is there what you have to do when you see a yellow light you have to wait for your turn okay 
Yellow light means you have to wait for your turn. And last you can see the green. Okay. Green signal shows us to go. Go. You can go. You can cross the road. You can't stop over there. Just when you see the green signal, you can go. Do you know? Stop. Says the red light. Go. Says the green. Change. Change the amber one. Blinking in between. Okay. This rules has to be obeyed by everyone. Okay. These are the traffic signals that we see on the cross road. Next, we will go for the signs beta. Okay. Do you know which sign is this? You might be finding at the, on the side of the road. Wherever the school is there, you will find this sign beta. What does it mean? It means to say that children are crossing the road. You have to make your vehicles slow. You have to run your vehicles slow so that the children can cross the road or then you can stop them your vehicle. Okay. Children crossing. What it shows the sign? Children crossing. You have to either wait or you have to go slow. Okay. This signs means that. Okay. What is this sign? Children crossing. Okay. This sign you see near the schools, colleges. Okay. Next we will go for, do you, do you know what is, does it mean? This sign means, this sign means that no U-turn. Okay. You can go straight, but you can't turn your vehicles in a U. Okay. No U-turn. This sign says that no U-turn. <coughs> okay. You can't take the U-turn for your vehicles. This sign means to say that no U-turn. When we walk on the road, we need to follow certain rules. What is that rule? Whenever road is where the vehicles go on, they run on the road. Okay, vehicles, all vehicles run on the road. But even children will walk on the road, elders will walk on the road. For them, they can't run like a motor, right? They will walk. So, we need to follow certain rules. From what we have to do when we cross a road, always follow the zebra crossing. Okay? Always follow the zebra crossing whenever you are crossing the road. This is the sign of zebra crossing. Okay? When the vehicle stop, when the signal so shows stop, which signal shows stop, can you just tell me red, right? At that time, what you need to do? You need to follow the zebra crossing when you cross the road. Okay. This is a sign of zebra crossing. And what else we have to see? This. This is the tracks. Can you see the tracks on which the train runs? So, if the tracks are there on the roadside, this sign you will see better. At that time, what we need to do? They will also show you the sign. Go green light or yellow light or the red light. If the red light shows the red light, you have to stop and you have to wait till the train passes that way. Okay? This is the sign of tracks where you have to wait till the train takes off from this place. Okay? This is the sign of tracks. This here we have to be very careful. While the train is coming and you are running, then you will get an accident. So you have to be careful. Whenever you see this sign on the roadside, you won't it find it in the middle of the road. You will see it on the side of the road. Okay. Whenever you see this type of signs, you have to follow the rule. Right. We have to follow certain rules. Okay. What are the rules to follow it on the road? So, never play on the road. Okay. We never play on the road. We should not play on the road. Why? Road is meant for vehicles. Okay? They run on it. We need not have to go and play on the road. Accidents may happen. We to be on the safe side. We need to play in the playground and not on the road. You have to keep in your mind that we should not play on the road. Okay? And one more thing what you have to do. You should not run. You should not run in front of a running vehicle better. 
which ever vehicle it may be okay the vehicle runs runs fast on the road you should not go in front of any vehicles okay you should not run on the road and one more thing what you need to follow you have to wait for the signal okay when the when the vehicle stop okay when they see the red light that vehicles will stop at that time you have to follow the zebra crossing okay zebra crossing and then only you can cross the road always walk on the zebra crossing whenever you are crossing the road and one more thing we have when we are walking on the road we have to walk on the footpath okay we should not walk on the road it's very dangerous okay you should always use footpath the place will be there beside the road okay for the public to walk okay that only we have to use the footpath to walk on the road when you want to cross the road which way we have to zebra crossing okay for you walking on the road we need to follow footpath what we need to follow footpath okay these points you have to remember beta whenever you are walking on the road you have to follow such and rules so running in front of a vehicle is also dangerous okay so please wait for the vehicles to pass off and see the signal then only you can cross the road okay what are the five rules that we have to need to follow when we are crossing the road we need not have to play on the road okay we need not have to play on the road and second thing we need not have to run on the road okay no need of running on the road and third is you have to follow footpath okay to walk on the road you have to follow foot path to walk on the road and fourth thing you have to use whenever you are crossing the road you have to use zebra crossing okay the zebra black and white lines will be there that is one thing about zebra zebra has white and black lines like that lines will be there on the road that lines only that crossing only you have to use okay and one more fifth point is never work, run on the come in front of a moving vehicle okay you have to wait for it don't run don't walk don't jump okay these are the certain rules you need to follow while walking on the road okay what we have learned can you just tell me we have learned land transport water transport air transport okay these are the three main types of transport road transport what are the vehicles car bus auto cycle jeep ambulance van these type of vehicles will see on the road the vehicles that runs on the track that is nothing but a train okay train train also runs on the land okay that is a land transport so and what else we have learned water transport what comes under water transport boat ship submarine yacht okay steam that comes under water boat comes under water transport and air transport air transport we use the vehicles aeroplane helicopter rocket spaceship gliders parachute hot air balloon okay these are the things that we use to travel okay so if we want to catch a bus we have to go to the bus stop remember that points to remember is we have if we want to catch a bus we have to go to the bus stop if we want to catch a train we have to go to the railway station if we want to catch a ship we have to go to the port where we have to go port if we want to take an aeroplane if we want to go in an aeroplane we have to go to the airport okay these are the things that we have learned and what are the signals we are see, have seen red light says stop 
red light says stop yellow light says wait till the sign it shows okay wait till the light is green when the green light what does it says go you can go you can't wait for longer time green light says go yellow light says wait and stop or red light says stop vehicle okay and what we have seen the safety rules that we need to follow while crossing the road we have to follow zebra crossing if you want to walk on the road we have to walk on the footpath and never play on the road one more thing never run in front of a running vehicle okay and the fifth point is wait till the light is green we can't go like that okay these are the simple rules that we need to follow while crossing the road okay so for teachers we can give them the activities either we can give them matching activities whether which way we can give them means cars bus train whatever plane ship we can give them to the ways in which they move the modes the way follow take okay we can give the coloring activity we can give the matching activity we can ask them the wheels how many wheels will be there what is needed for a, a vehicle to run okay these are simple things that we have to teach to the child and we can give them so many activities we can tell them the rhymes and the stories okay in this way we can teach to the child always go on repeating the things that we need to be follow safety rules that's all for today's class we'll meet next time thank you Teacher LJ